got a lot of pots to fill, you're going to need a lot of soil. Today we'll teach you how to make it cheaper than you can buy it. everyone, welcome to Lonely Pines. So today I'm going to teach you how to make your own potting mix and if we have time we might even get a uh, overdue zucchini in the ground. This here is a Black Beauty zucchini and uh, as you can see it's uh, doing really really well. Planted that, uh, I think that's about four weeks worth of growth there so she's definitely ready to be put in the ground but I want to try this one in a raised planter. So I need to make some potting mix. <clears throat> so the pot we're gonna put this into, I don't know if you can tell, oh here, there's a five gallon bucket. So that is about a 15 gallon pot. And if this were your regular potting soil here, this is gonna probably take two, maybe probably three of those. Fill that up about ten twelve dollars a piece it's 30 bucks so we're always looking to do it a little bit less expensive if we can and we have a lot of pots to plant we're going to make our own so there's basically three basic ingredients that you're going to need for making potting soil your first is uh something like peat moss you can use uh cocoa core if you prefer um, basically what you're looking for is an organic material that's going to hold moisture and then we are going to mix that. Let's move our little buddy out of here. We're going to mix that with some fertilizer, some steer manure in this case. Pick up whatever you have. It doesn't really matter. Find what's on sale. This bag here was on sale for $1.97, I think, at Home Depot. Uh, I should say the peat moss, I think, was uh, 12 bucks, something like that. So that and a little manure, and then we're going to just take regular topsoil. I don't recommend the garden soil that you have. Um, if you haven't been planting in it for a long time, you could introduce all sorts of fungus and insects and disease and whatnot. Um, so get, a, get yourself a couple bags of clean topsoil or compost would work as well. In fact, we'll probably throw in a couple scoops of compost. Um, we're also going to add some organic plant food. This is a uh, 533. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Um, you don't need something, you know, if it, if it says 2016, 15, or whatever it is, that's way too high. So make sure you cut that in half or even a quarter or something. Find something of a lower value. I don't know why they go so high. But, and then we're also going to throw in uh, a little bit of garden lime because zucchini, just like tomatoes, um, can also have blossom end rot and you definitely don't need that. So let's get uh, set up here and we'll show you how to do this. Again, so we've got a 15 gallon container here. Um, and as you can tell, there are no drainage holes in it. So that is a major problem. So what we're gonna do is drill a few holes in the side. I like to keep a couple of inches here for water retention. Um, just so it doesn't dry out in the heat of summer instead of putting a couple. You could, you could put holes in the bottom as well, but uh, I find it's better if it's up here. It has a little water retention. So all we're going to do, drill a few holes, a few inches up. holes are drilled you can see hopefully that they're about two inches up from the bottom and what we're trying to do there is to create a water reservoir so the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is just get some shredded bark and fill that up to the holes and what's going to happen is this shredded bark is really good at holding moisture Got lots of surface area. Put that in there. Big chunk there. Let's get rid of that. Double that out a little bit. And then what I want to do is get a tablespoon of our fertilizer. I'm 
I'm going to put in about two tablespoons. And just mix that up a little bit. That way when the roots get down to that level, they'll have some food. Peat moss, you can see, is extremely fine. And it's actually dry in the container when you get it. So we're going to need to moisten that down really well. However, once it becomes moist, it does retain a lot of water. So that's what we're looking for in a container in the heat of the summer. So just a couple of cups full of that. Some of our manure. some of our own compost. This will have the biology in it to get all the good microbes in the dirt working for us. Break up some of these big gloves. You can break up some of these big clods. And then we're going to add two more tablespoons of our fertilizer. And a couple tablespoons of garden lime. <clears throat> Again, the reason you add the lime is so you don't reduce the chances of getting blossom head rock. <clears throat> calcium and magnesium, I believe. <clears throat> okay, so we got all that in together, and then we're just going to get in here and just mix her up. Make sure you get down in there deep. Everything mixed in real well. You can do this in a wheelbarrow as well. All right, and we're just going to do the exact same thing all over again. Intentionally trying to leave it a couple inches low from the top so that we can have room for some mulch and some water. Okay, so you can see we've got a pretty good mix going on in here now. In fact, I challenge you to open up a bag of potting mix, whoever it may be, and match it to that. That looks the same to me. That cost us uh, $24, and I can make up at least probably three or four of these with all the leftovers. So big, big cost savings if you're going to do a decent amount of planting. All right, so we've got that all mixed up. Oh, I just should say I definitely want to add a little bit more fertilizer to the top layer. I'm going to go another two tablespoons. Remember, this is a 15-gallon pot. And this zucchini is going to get absolutely huge. I want it to have plenty of food. And just finish mixing that into the top level. Probably should have put this where I wanted it to go before I filled it. It's going to weigh a ton. I'm going to have to wait for Laura to get home. Hurry home, honey. <clears throat> so our soil is all finished. Looking good. Okay. This plant is going to get very, very large, so I wouldn't recommend planting more than one zucchini in a pot this size. I know it's huge, but zucchini is a big, big plant, so we're just going to dig a little hole here in our center. Mark and stick out. Now here's something kind of cool. Let's see if I can get this out here first. 
Okay, you can see there's a real good amount of root growth on there. You can open this up a little bit. Looking really good, real healthy. And if you can see inside here, there's a that in the screen. You can see those little nodes on the bottom of the stem. That's new root growth wanting to come out. So we're going to go ahead and bury this all the way up to here. And this will just put out more roots for us. I to sit out this way. And just backfill around it with your soil. Firm it in. And then again, this plant is going to need a lot of food and a lot of water. I don't want it to dry out. It's going to get so large. So I am going to take more shredded bark and use that as a mulch will really help the pot retain water. Hopefully keep the zucchini from drying out if we ever decide to take a vacation. I'm going to cover this probably an inch, maybe two inches deep. I don't want to fill it to the rim. I definitely want there to be room for watering. Another reason to put down mulch on the top is to keep uh, all of your soil-borne diseases from splashing up here. Next thing I want to do is put in a piece of bamboo. <clears throat> it's not going to get too close to the actual planting. That way we can stake this to it as she grows. And there you have it, Black Beauty Zucchini in a 15 gallon pot. All we need to do now is water it in. This is a fish emulsion, it's a 511, and I put it in here at half strength, so two tablespoons per gallon is what it asks for. I'm going to go two tablespoons for two gallons. And we're really just going to drench this whole thing. It is a big, big pot. Big pot. Don't be afraid to drown it one time here. You want good contact with the soil and the roots. Some of these leaves got a little algae bloom on it that we had over the last couple of weeks. Rinse those off real quick. And this will dry in the sun here. Don't want to water it at night and have the moisture on your leaves all night, but this time of day it'll be fine. All right, so there you have it. Brand new Black Beauty Zucchini in the pot, ready to grow. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe below, if so. And we'll see you next time.